Good day, everybody. Uh, just a little update with my uh, latest Mac endeavor. I just ordered the MacBook Air. It came in the mail today. Um, the reason why I had to get the SuperDrive is because the 2011 Mac does not come equipped with a SuperDrive, or any drive for that matter. So some people might not find that an issue, but I have an issue with it mainly because I like to burn CDs still and uh, like to copy DVDs, that sort of thing. So I got this baby today and what I'm going to do is just unbox it here real quick for you and uh, go through a brief little setup, show you what it's like and how it performs along with the uh, 2011 Mac. So let's get started and unbox this bad boy right now. Nice and small, compact size. And there is the drive. You got your drive in the box along with the uh, instructions, along with the warranty information. And then some Spanish instructions, which is what we're going to do with that. That's it. And there's a drive. You got a single USB plug. Very clean, just like the uh, new Mini. Doesn't have a lot of junk all over it, which is kind of nice. There you go. Okay. Uh, no external lights that I can see. Substantially smaller than the Mac itself. So you can either put this thing on top. I wouldn't recommend putting it underneath because it's much smaller and the uh, Mini itself needs to breathe down in the base so uh, you definitely need to have this thing sitting on top or in a separate location try to plug this thing in here so you guys can see anyway okay it's plugged in it should be good to go now and basically I'm gonna find a disc and use uh, my favorite movie Step Brothers. Now let's check it out and see how this uh, this thing works. I'll be quiet. I don't know if you can hear that. But that is the drive booting up, reading. Pretty quiet and. DVD menu pops up immediately. There you go. How about them apples? So it works pretty darn good. Just plugs and plays. No software required. No anything. So that's definitely a awesome little setup there. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, you notice how quiet it was too. It uh, didn't make a lot of noise when you fire the thing up right off the bat. Unlike the original drive that I had on my old Mini, that thing was pretty loud and uh, cantankerous. It sounded pretty, pretty bad. So this is uh, definitely a big plus in my book. Uh, I'm very happy with this. And then you can go right onto your main menu here and eject directly from the computer itself. And there goes the disc. Just like that. Real simple. Looks really nice. Uh, I don't know if I have an audio CD somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find one with some music on it. And we'll see if that works out just as well. Ah, uh, yes I do. 
got the old uh, Ziggy Marley. Pop in old Ziggy there and see how that sounds. Should fire up iTunes right away. Which it's doing right now. And there we go. Of course, uh, taking its time to access the media database. And there we go. There is the disk. As you can see, it's showing right here. So this thing is working flawlessly. Quite impressive. Yeah! This is the official invitation to the party. So, very well. That's it. That's uh, just the basics of the uh, new MacBook Air Super Drive. And uh, sorry about the focus. It looks like my webcam's not cooperating here because it's pretty low light here. But anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks, folks. Have a good day.